Hi everybody, it's Kit, and welcome to another video by The Entropy System. So today we've got a big juicy topic for you all. We're going to show you how to tell if a system is faking or not. Just kidding, we're not going to do that because it's dumb. And unless you're someone's therapist or their doctor, not possible. We've addressed this in past videos, but we've never really dedicated a full video to it, and I've been seeing this pop up again on multiple forms of social media, so my blood is boiling, my heart is passionate, and I'm here to deliver this message to you all. And like, I get it. There's an appeal to wanting to start a witch hunt like this. A lot of people don't believe that DID is real. People may have come out to friends or family or whatever and been rejected, have someone cut them out of their life for having DID, or just straight up been like, no, you're a liar. And, and being called fake over something so sensitive hurts. Like, it's damaging in a way that nothing else really is. And so if you who have been rejected and called fake can say, oh, 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 this is what it actually looks like to be fake, so obviously I'm not fake. Like, there's sort of like a nice defense system feeling about that, but it's not okay. The wild thing to me is that when people are like, oh, this is how you can tell if a system is faking, it's all stuff that systems experience? So I'm going to go through a quick list of things that I have seen on these lists of how to tell if someone's faking and just discuss a, the very, to me, obvious reasons of why this doesn't count as like a red flag. One that I've seen on just about every single post is, oh, they're using the wrong terminology. They call their alters personalities or they call it multiple personality disorder instead of DID. Some people, when they discover that they have this disorder or think that they might have this disorder, get really curious. They start researching. They start trying to find communities. Other people don't. Maybe they feel really nervous about this disorder because, gasp, there's so much stigma surrounding it. Who knew? Maybe they're really fresh to trying to figure out what this is and they haven't had good sources that they've come across yet. Maybe they're an older system and they got diagnosed when it was called multiple personality disorder. And that's just the term that they've used most of their life so they feel most comfortable continuing to use it. The words that you use to describe your condition do not determine the reality of said condition. Next one I've seen is that their switches are too intense or too subtle to be real. DID is a vastly diverse disorder. There are, you know, the basic diagnostic criteria that are the same between every system because that's the diagnostic criteria, but so much else is unique and personalized toward that system. There are systems who have switched on camera um, on YouTube whose switches are kind of dramatic, you know? They shut down for a little bit, eyes flutter, it takes a long time. There are systems who have switched on camera who the switch is almost imperceptible. I know our switches, most of the time, are almost imperceptible. Sometimes they are dramatic and they take a long time and we need to like sit down and, and let it pass. And, and there's no way to look at a switch and say, wow, that's not authentic because it's all going on inside someone's head. The next one building straight off on that is that they do or don't switch on camera. That if they are switching on camera, then oh, they're just making a show out of it. They must be fake. Or if they don't switch on camera, oh, well, they're obviously hiding something. Other systems switch on camera, so why won't they? Some systems really want to break down any kind of misconception or stigma uh, surrounding switchings you know, in particular, and that's great. Some systems, like mine, feel really awkward even switching in front of the people we know and trust the most. And, you know, we'll go into another room so we can do it quietly, uh, you know, and discreetly. You know, you can think of it like people who are comfortable wearing one pieces or bikinis to the beach. It's, it's all about what you feel okay doing. 
Another one, their altars are all so different from one another, too different, or their altars are all so similar to one another, you can't even tell the difference. Again, DID is extremely diverse. Altars are developed based on what the system needed to survive. Some systems need to have altars that are super different and dynamically diverse so that they can, you know, feel extra separation from something or that they can handle dynamically different situations that they get thrown into. Some systems are really similar, have same body language, same voices, but they are different alters. They just needed to all be similar so they could be super, super covert about the whole system thing. The ease or difficulty that you have telling someone's alters apart does not change the legitimacy of their disorder. I'm gonna stack a couple on top of this. They have too many or too few alters. If someone has a ton of fictive alters, if someone has no fictives, though I've heard that a lot less than the argument that, oh, it's really easy to tell if they just have a bunch of fictives or if they're all fictives or whatever, that that's some kind of red flag when really it's, it's not, it's not. Having or not having comorbid disorders. A lot of times DID is comorbid with things like PTSD or anxiety or depression, but not always. Having a comorbid disorder is not part of the diagnostic criteria of DID. If you don't have a comorbid disorder, you are still legitimate. Having incredibly good or incredibly bad communication. The thing I see most often from people who know nothing about DID is that, oh, you have to be faking because if you had DID, you wouldn't know, or your life would be so difficult, you wouldn't be able to function, you'd be in an asylum. There are people who have terrible communication between alters, big blackouts, walls between one another. There are some people who don't know that they're part of a system that aren't aware that they have DID. There are also people who are fully aware of all of their alters, who fully aware that they have DID and who work together uh, functionally as a multiple. It's called functional multiplicity and with therapy, a lot of systems can achieve this. Being super in the dark or super not in the dark does not determine a person's legitimacy. Stacking on top of this, people can go to work or to school, which they couldn't do if they actually had DID, or in reverse, well, they're just faking because they don't want to go to school or don't want to go to work, and, and you should be able to function as a system and get there. Again, that, that has nothing to do with real or fake or not, that just has to do with where you are developmentally in your system communication journey. Integrating or splitting too much. That person has new alters all the time. That can't be real. Or they just integrated a bunch of alters all at once. They're just trying to cover their tracks. Sometimes you can fuse a bunch of alters all at once because there was a big hurdle that you cleared towards your healing and a bunch of them, you know, naturally fuse together. Sometimes you're in a really stressful situation and you don't have the coping skills to deal with it. So all of a sudden you wake up one day and you've got five new buddies in your head. That's going to be a completely individualized uh, thing. The last one, that person really leans into the edgy or dangerous or psychotic stereotypes of DID, so they must be faking. There are a lot of reasons why a system or even specific members of a system might lean into the negative stereotypes. If they have been told by so many people that they must be dangerous, there's a mindset of fine. If you say I should be this way, maybe I'll decide to be this way. You see this in rebellious teens who are singles all the time. So why would that be any different from a, an alter in a system? It also could be a defense mechanism. They have been abandoned by people who they got close to, so rather than letting people get close, they just go, ooh, I'm scary and dangerous, don't get close to me. It's, it's a defensive wall to keep themselves from getting hurt. Is it the healthiest way of coping with stuff like this? No, I'm, I'm gonna say no. But is it something that a real actual system is capable of doing? Yeah, absolutely. So all of this goes to say that there is literally no way that you can determine if a system who says that they are a system is faking or not. Literally no way. Unless you are a person's doctor or a person's therapist, 
You have no way of knowing if someone is faking or not. If someone is making you feel uncomfortable with the way that they are expressing their multiplicity, it's okay for you to back away quietly and not associate with that person. But as soon as we start saying, well, this is how you can tell if a system is fake, then there will be systems out there who read that list and become even more hesitant to seek help and acceptance because they see one of their legitimate experiences on that list and they feel rejected by the community that they want to reach out to in the first place. Let's agree as a community that this witch hunt crap is just not okay on any level at any point and work to build each other up. Let people know that it's okay if their symptoms are weird or different or uncommon, if they use the wrong terminology that they're not gonna get their, you know, faces bitten off by commenters online. Having DID sucks. It's scary. There's a lot of stigma and a lot of hate and a lot of misunderstanding. And the last thing that people with DID or OSDD need is that kind of hate coming from their own community. I wanna challenge each and every one of you, whether you are a system or if you are not, if you see this kind of behavior out on social media, call it out. Say that it's wrong. Try to shut it down as quickly as you can, not in a hateful or threatening or abusive way, obviously, but just saying, hey, you know what? There's no way for you to know for sure. So let's not do more damage than necessary, huh? That's my call to arms for all you in Tropical Fish out there. And I know that you all have wonderful hearts and want to make this world a better place for those with systems, otherwise you wouldn't be watching these videos to begin with. And as always, you are loved, you are valuable, and you are valid. Love you guys lots. Bye! Mwah.